Hello everyone, Pete and Grata here from the Purple House at 4th in Northwest Tasmania. Um, today we're talking about detox, whether it's a worthwhile thing or not. Lots of people, they ask whether they should do a detox. And my answer to them is you've got three systems walking around with you all the time, detoxing continually if you look after them. And it does it gently, really, instead of a harsh, unpleasant experience. You can, you can do it when you sleep, when you play, when you work. And we do that through our liver, our kidneys and our skin. Most importantly, we need to keep a thin, dilute blood for our liver and kidneys to filter efficiently. And by that, I mean blood the consistency of red wine. And to do that, we need to drink consistently large amounts of water or enough to keep us well hydrated. And that, that's a litre for every 30 kilograms of body weight on a daily basis. That will keep you well hydrated. I often say to people, if you notice the colour of your urine turning yellow, if you can see a colour in it, then you're a bit dehydrated. Drink more water. Because our, our livers, they filter immense amounts of blood. How much was it again? Uh, well, one source said three litres of blood every, oh no, your entire blood volume, sorry, every three minutes. But I mean, or close to that. It's a lot anyway. I think a thousand liters of blood per day, right? Twenty, was it? Yeah, that's right. A thousand liters yeah. of blood every twenty-four hours, and then your kidneys do the same thing. They actually filter your blood. Uh, I think sixteen hundred liters every twenty-four hours. So we only have four or five or six liters of blood. So you can tell that it's like constantly that's... going through these filtration systems. And we know, well, if we we've uh had filters in a pump or anything, farmers, we know that if we put a, our pipe for the irrigation into a muddy dam, then we'll be changing, changing the filters very often. But if we pump clear water, it can go for a long time. Actually, that's it's, actually, I'll have a housewife example. <laughs> That's the same with your vacuum cleaners, right? Mm. So like you vacuum your house and then uh, the, the actually the fill the bag. So it goes through filters well in a way and then it fills up the bag, doesn't it? But if you never, never change your, those bags or empty your vacuum cleaner out when you have a bagless vacuum cleaner, it's going to blow up the motor. The motor of the vacuum cleaner resembles your heart and you could say the filters resemble the kidneys. So the first, we always recommend uh, in the morning when you wake up, that you get up and drink some water straight away, one or two glasses. Yeah, a large amount of water, yeah. Se seven to 800 mil, it's the best kidney mm -hmm. flush you can... And every... that would be like uh, comparable then to um, removing the full dust bag out of your vacuum cleaner and slotting a new one in, that's really... Mm -hmm. Because if you want to explain about the kidneys, lots of people don't know this, so your kidneys filter your blood and they have like blood vessels that you can explain it that get smaller and smaller and smaller right so so um it filters the blood through this like you could say a strainer and then the strainer has smaller and smaller holes i guess doesn't it the, the mem membrane is probably yeah just one membrane thick but like one the, molecule thick it yeah. means and then Eventually, though, um, if so, if it's filtering a tomato sauce rather than red right. wine, um, then needs a really strong pump to push the molecules through those smaller and smaller filters or strainers. They're more and more finer, and so the pump is your heart. So that's what if you feel your heart thumping in your chest, some people feel that, and they have high blood pressure. Um, you need to drink more water. To dilute yeah. your blood, that's what we're talking yeah. about. And to, to get more blood filtered through the liver and the kidneys, we need nitric 
oxide, which is yeah. in which is in B flow. Nitric oxide and taurine, both <coughs> of those are in, in B flow. They dilate little tubes in the body. So they'll dilate the little tubes, the blood vessels, and they'll dilate the ducts in the liver and the kidneys so they will excrete the waste properly and be able to filter the blood more efficiently as well. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're a woman and you're on uh, contraceptives, they often have the action of like closing down the constricting the, yeah, yep. the tubes in the body, right? Which lots of women don't know about it, so... They, they meant, it's meant to constrict the ovarian duct to prevent the egg coming up to be yeah, fertilised. as well. But it constricts every little vessel in the body. That's why girls often put on weight as well when they go take uh, contraceptives. And get which, headaches due which, to toxins. Mm -hmm. It's very, very hard on the body, so like I know I'm going on a sideline here. But if you are taking um, contraceptives like that, hormonal changing ones, you definitely need to uh, supplement with beet flow as well, just to stop that action um, or the harmful action of it, right? And I would also say look for a different option as well. There are lots of different options. Mm. So we were talking about detoxing. Yep. Yeah. The other, so your liver and your kidneys, they filter the blood continually. So keeping a thin blood and dilating those little tubes and the, the uh, circulatory system so the blood can be filtered a lot easier and the waste excreted easily is very important. And the next, last but not least, is the skin. The skin, if the liver and the kidneys are having a job to get rid of toxins, then the body in its wisdom puts those toxins as far away from the vital organs as possible, which is the skin. And that creates skin problems. But the skin will also try to get rid of those toxins. And we get rid of a lot of toxins through sweating. Now, people with low thyroid function, the thyroid not working properly, often don't sweat. And we need iodine to to have a good functioning thyroid. Well, anyway, the th iodine helps you to sweat full stop. Yeah. Like if people can't sweat, it's probably not even just the thyroid, right? It's uh, every cell in your body needs iodine. And if people are severely iodine deficient, they can't sweat, not even when they go for a run, you know, like they literally, their body can't do it anymore. Mm. So no. that will mechanism will restore itself when you put some iodine, we usually put it in some water or on your skin. And to get your skin to sweat, you can also... I, I, I finish the sentence. <laughs> you, you can also jump in a sweat lodge. I built a wood-fired sauna a couple of years ago and the temperature gets up to 80 to 90 degrees and yeah, it takes about 10 minutes to have sweat pouring off your body. And the other day there was a woman uh, that attended our Sunday afternoon event. She decided to have a sauna and the hubby was waiting outside for her. I just got chatting to him and he told me of a friend of his who requires dialysis due to kidney failure. And he said his friend has at least one sauna a week and he can leng lengthen out the time between his dialysis uh, procedure. It can lengthen it double the length of time. So that's, he's getting rid of toxins through the skin so the kidneys don't have to do it. They and don't have to work as hard. They don't have to work anywhere near so hard. And uh, I... Look, I saw a study done in Finland where they do a lot of uh, saunas. saunas. They, every family has a sauna and they, there was a big study done over 20 years of a large amount of people and those who took a sauna two to three times a week decreased their chance of dying from any type of disease 
by 25 percent. That's huge, isn't it? Apart, <laughs> that was, uh, but the people who sauntered once, only once a week, they still died of those things. Oh, so they didn't benefit as much. They didn't benefit anywhere near so much. Mm -hmm. So the ones that sauntered two to three times had a 25 percent increase in lack of disease than the ones who sauntered once a week. So the more often you sweat through your skin and get rid of toxic waste, that way mm -hmm. the healthier you'll be as well. Mm -hmm. And so Pete, uh, he built this wood fire sauna, which is absolutely amazing. And, and we are making it available to you or to our clients or our community. Uh, so you can book the sauna through our receptionist or through the clinic and book it for an hour. Uh, and it seats between six and eight people. Um, uh, so you just, and then we book, put you in the, the diary. So also when you have the sauna there, you can- um, There's a bath outside that yeah, you can you put- can bring, you bring can your own ice if you fill, like. it, fill it up with cold water. And if you want to bring in a couple of bags of ice, you can put in the bath or there's also a cold shower that you can finish off with, or oh, there's the river. you can jump in the river, which uh, in the middle of winter, the river gets down to about six or seven degrees. And I tell you what, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? It invigorates <laughs> you and really fills you with yeah. a lot of energy and Being uh, the eyes, re resets <laughs> your immune system going from that artificial Gee. temperature that is induced in your body jumping in the cold. Yet and you don't feel the cold, do you? No, it, because you feel it, it's a bit of a shock initially, but I can I can stay in the river a good five minutes after mm -hmm. sauntering for 15, 20 minutes. And that's yeah. super amazing because um, Peter has this kind of condition <laughs> that his fingers um, used they, to go white. Yeah, they and normally, very normally went numb and white within two or three minutes in the river. Or like in the summer, we're talking yeah. about in the summer, uh, and his brothers are the same, it's like a genetic thing. And now you don't have that anymore, do you? Which is really amazing. So um, so do take us up on the offer, I'll put the details in the post, if you, when you read the post. So when you hire the sauna, it will be, you know, a lit, of course, for you, so that it'll be hot when you jump in, and then the rest is up to you. You can jump in and out as many times as you, you like. There'll be a container there for water and you can put you put water on the stones on top and it, that really gets the um, humidity up so it makes the sweat come out even more. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when, um, when we were told, you know, that the wood heater that we bought from a, a Russian guy, he was Russian, yeah. yeah, and he was telling us a few tricks like he he um i think he waxes his body with oak leaf oak branches leaves, or yeah. something like that that's a russian tradition to bring out more talks to activate the skin so like when you activate all these systems of course you're activating mm -hmm. the immune system right and it's fun as well so he said he gets his up to one nearly he, he gets his over 100 degrees up I to 100, believe 110 <laughs> 120 degrees and i mm. i shook my head and thought yeah. You boil your blood, but, <laughs> no, but ours, it's actually, ours has been up to 90 degrees, and it's quite good it, actually. It, yeah, and also our grandchildren um, go into the sauna with us, and I mean, everyone loves it. Even one of our sons in law who couldn't stand the, the shift from hot to cold because he suffers from anxiety, and he loves it now, doesn't he? Oh, he's addicted now, yeah, so <laughs> it makes him so, feel so good because it's. It really helps his mental health as well. Yep. So it fortifies you from the inside out. So um, see, there's a bit of an adventure. The sauna is actually placed a long way away from the house, so it's very private. It's by itself on five acres of forest. So uh, when you book it with a group, it's all yours. And there's a little chain shed mm -hmm. that has a cold chair in as yeah. well. And, and you just bring your own yeah. towels and stuff. All right, so we just wanted to share that with you today. So uh, again, just in summary, your body always detoxes itself. So it's a self-cleansing machine. It's constantly cleansing. Oh yeah, I just wanted to say something else. 
if your tummy is rumbling that is actually a sign that your body is cleaning doing a big clean up so sometimes people say oh i'm hungry or you must be needing breakfast or lunch or tea or whatever when you hear other people's tummy rumble but it actually means your body is having an attempt to do a spring clean inside your tummy so no you and, don't need to we, eat food then do you no we can often well we we can eat a lot less than what yeah. we do even just right, reduce, uh, using small plates instead of big plates, that works really, really well because when you eat less, let's say a quarter less than you used to, that's a really, really nice detox in itself. Because years ago, scientists did a research on rats. Well, they're always doing research on rats. But anyway, they found that they starved some rats and they just gave other rats ample food. And the rats that were like, semi starved they lasted um lived a lot longer 30 percent longer i think it mm. was which is like well do you want to live 30 percent uh, longer and they were healthy of course right they they didn't have the aches and pains and all the other diseases and that we get it gets gets your body to use the stores that that went, are stored the that fat it, stores the fat stores that yeah. we put on with too many high starch mm. carbohydrates and sugars and yeah, we get back to our ideal weight when our body uses mm -hmm. those fat stores up and that will also help unclog the liver because mm -hmm. the liver is one of the first places we store that stored fat. Yeah, so lots of people yeah. now do intermittent fasting or it's called intermittent eating. So, and, um, so you choose the time of the day that you ate for eight hours or six hours. And um, some people only eat in a four hour period. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you just have to tune into your own body. But Peter and I, we, we now we say, how do I call it? Because we're older now and we have acquired a lot of wisdom. We don't really like people to do like a harsh, blunt detox treatment because we know that when you're gentle on yourself and you do something that's um, with respect for your body, right? Working with your body rather than using the sledgehammer, you have way better results because it's also about being connected into your body, and connecting into your immune system, and showing respect for for who you are, for all your organs as well, right? So, like what we said, um, eating a little bit less, drinking more water. You can also do the beet flow flush, that's a nice gentle flush, so that means you don't have breakfast or you have a very light breakfast and at 10 o'clock you take two beet flow and you do that again half an hour later and then you, every half hour you have two beet flow, you don't eat and then that helps your body and you do that for three hours, that's a nice gentle yeah. detox as well. Alright, thanks for listening again and tuning in, we really appreciate you taking notice of all the things that we share with you and um, we hope you have a really good week yeah we'll pop the article yeah under the video if so you have you any questions please ring our team or call yeah. in of course we're open literally like we are open we're not just an online shop we're open here as well you can call in on tuesday wednesday and thursday have a chat to our friendly team as well and that that's the best time to get us to book in for the sauna or make bookings to see us yeah. during those times exactly. as well. Alrighty. Thanks everyone. Have a, Have good a week. great week. Yeah. See you next week. Bye. Bye.